cute. I love that. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's really cute. It's handwritten. Instagram, Discord, what's in here? Oh my gosh, how exciting. Gotta open it nicely, guys. cute little freebies thank you for your purchase I was surprised at how beautiful this cherry blossom fountain pen was by I don't know what that says I'm glad you can get it write lots of wonderful things with this cute fountain pen Yumiko Ueno that's so cute oh my gosh I'm looking for the item you want <laughs> That's so sweet. Okay, look at this, you guys. This is so sweet. I love little freebies. Sorry, this is taking a while. We'll get to the pen soon. Oh, wow. <gasps> Stop it. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, you know I'm going to keep this on my desk. That's so cute. I love that. Okay, I'm going to keep it in the Ziploc so it's safe. And, oh my goodness, what is this? Oh my, look at all the cuties. Oh wow. Some cherry blossom stickers in there. And oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use these in my journal. Thank you, thank you. Such a sweet little package. Like, oh my, so cute. I can't wait to use those. Okay, are you ready? Because, oh my gosh, I'm so... <gasps> what is that? Oh, there's a little vial in here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, you guys. So I've been wanting this pen for a while, and I kind of gave up on it because every, every time I look it up, it's just way too expensive. And then one of my subscribers, who is technically a friend, really... <laughs> You guys are always, you're, you're all my friends. Like, all my subscribers, I always love talking to you guys. Um, you know, we've all kind of become friends. So, anyways, my friend shared with me the link. And I was like, oh my, this is such a good deal. So, I had to get it. So, this is the ink that comes with the pen. Except I didn't have the full-size bottle anymore. So, this is just like a little, kind of like a sample of it. So, I'm really excited. I'm going to have to look it up like the proper name in English of this because I don't know the name, but this is a really nice glass bottle that they put it in. Love that. And as you can see right here is the pen. Oh my goodness. All right. Yes, it is a sailor. I'm really excited. You guys saw me downsize and got rid of some of my sailors because it's just not, you know, not the color scheme I'm going for. So rest assured that this pen or this box contains something that is of my color scheme. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Okay, here we go, guys. Here's the box. Are you ready? Because, oh, oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You guys, that is so pretty. Wow. Oh my gosh. I feel like the camera is not even doing it justice because it's such a pretty pink. Oh my gosh. This is my first pro gear. 
I have no words right now. Hold on, let me just look at this because... guys this is so pretty what so i have to go buy a converter for this i want the white converter to go inside of it because it is such a light color barrel oh my gosh look at the nib i forgot about the nib oh, wow it's so hard to show you but there is a flower on it I believe it's a cherry blossom. I believe, I believe. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, so I'm looking at this. The nib is gold. Everything else is rose gold. Right, am I? I mean, I don't hate it. It's surprising. It's really pretty, so I don't mind. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I got this in the medium fine. Um, I When I placed my order, it was a fine, but they said they had an issue or something with the listing and they only had a medium fine left. And I was like, I will take a medium fine. I love me a medium fine. I'm totally okay with that. So this is a medium fine. And I am so excited to ink this up. I'm not going to do it today. Um, I'm going to flush this out and then I'll be back in a few days time to ink it with you guys. But oh my, oh my gosh. This is honestly the perfect pink. I am so happy right now, you guys. <laughs> oh, I've been watering this one for a long time. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And again, this is my first pro gear slip. No, pro gear, sorry. My first pro gear. It's beautiful. So this is the Sailor Hachimonjia collaboration, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is the Sailor Hachimonjia collection. So just, just hold on, just hold on. This is the Platinum Hachimonjia collaboration and oh i feel like they're sisters just the pink the shades of pink it's beautiful oh my gosh it's so pretty oh my gosh i it's like i don't know what to do with myself i feel like i have all the sailors in my collection I'm not going to want to use that anymore. This is so pretty. Watch me do another decluttering of everything else that I own because this is just the perfect pink. I don't even have words, you guys. Oh, wow. This is so pretty. This is it. I'm so happy with this purchase. I was a little bit nervous because it's so weird because like I feel... Oh, there you go. I feel like the light's catching it better but like in some other videos that i've seen with this pen it's just looking too too pink you know what i mean um but it's really this creamy whitish pink it's just stunning it's it's a blush pink look at my nails it matches my yep matches my nails so i, I mentioned it before this is my favorite nail polish or poly gel color it matches the pink on my platinum perfectly. This is, um, I'll, I'll link it below. It's a poly gel, but like, yeah, yep, yep, yep. This is, this, this is, this is it. Like, I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and flush out the nib on this so we can ink it up in a few days time. I'm so excited. This is such a beautiful, beautiful pen. Oh my gosh. Let me go grab a Pro Gear Slim to compare the size because I feel like this isn't as big as I thought. I, that's another thing I was nervous about is what if a Pro Gear is too big for me because I find Pro Gear Slims to be just fine or perfect so okay 
All right, so this is a Pro Gear Slim. I grabbed the, my other pink one just to also kind of show you a comparison here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at the difference. It is bigger. That's so crazy. It's like definitely like a big sister. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love this so much. This is a Platinum Century. Wow, you guys. I love this. This is... Yep. Now, if this is that color, I would be all set, like, for life. <laughs> I mean, I love this pink. I really do. This, this, this is Momo. But, like, if this was this, like, that color, oh, perfection. Okay, so, anyways, let me take the caps off just to see. Oh, my God. Oh gosh, now that I have a Pro Gear, it's like, I'm scared I'm going to love a Pro Gear over a Pro Gear Slim so much that I'm never, every time I want to buy something, I'm going to want to buy a Pro Gear. And Pro Gears are so much more expensive than the Pro Gear Slims, so now I'm like terrified. But oh my gosh, they're like the same size, really. And I, I've said it before. I find the Platinum Century is so much more comfortable to write with. Oh no. Now I'm gonna always want a pro gear. <laughs> what have I done? Wow. Anyways, I'm obsessed. I love this. I can't wait to hang it up. I'm so happy I can cry. Like, this is. Oh, oh my. I don't know if you guys can feel it through the camera, but I'm so happy right now. Wow. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry. Hold on. Let me collect myself for a little bit here because this is so pretty. All right, loves. So it's been a few days since I actually filmed the last clip of the video the one that you just saw um i think that was like in january 23 or something it is now february 2nd so it's been like a week or so since i've had this inked and i've been playing around with it and yeah so let me just show you what i have inked in it and i guess my thoughts um don't mind this this is just me trying to figure out my february lineup which i'm excited to share with you guys so um yeah let's zoom in on this area because this is like where i tested the pen and ink like right away so i ended up putting the ink that came with this pen i believe it is by hachimonjia and it's just called Kubo Zakura. I'm going to guess there wasn't anything on the little sample bottle that I got. Um, and I tried looking it up online. I couldn't really find anything. So we're just going to call it Hachimonjiya Kubo Sakura ink, I guess. So um, yeah, this is what it looks like. I was actually pretty nervous because it looked very light. But... It's actually really good and so legible for what it is. I feel like I've been looking for an ink like this, but every time I would try something, it would just either be too bright, so not light enough like this, or it'd be too light that it's not legible, or it would be too wet. You know, sometimes a lighter wet ink just doesn't look good. So I, I just feel like this is the perfect light pink ink it's just i love this i want a full bottle of this okay let's not get ahead of ourselves but i love this and i feel like i will actually use this well i have been using it in my journals which i'll show you in a bit but yeah i'm excited <laughs> let's just say that so this is the nib again i have it in a medium fine um i will say when i i mean it's still till now when i'm writing with this I kind of have to hold it in a certain angle, if that makes sense, so it doesn't feel weird. Like, there's certain angles 
when I hold this that it just feels like one side is more flat than the other which makes it feel awkward in a way and when I hold it in that position or I forget to hold it in a certain way I get things like this and you can see like it, it's darker there because that's kind of like where it dragged if that makes sense I don't know it's really weird sometimes it doesn't happen but in this it did um and yeah see I was doing like different angles and I'm like ugh but again I've been using this for like a week or so and it's not too bad um I'm still I feel like I'm still trying to trying to get used to it in a way so this is just what it looks like in a midori paper um it's not too terrible I will do some writing tests shortly with you like real time so you can see I think also the fact that I've been just using these pens this is these are the pens I've been using to journal with and whatnot this is a Twisby 580 extra fine um but for the most part i've been using these three um these two are platinums and you guys know these are super fine nibs so one is an extra fine and the other is a fine and then this is my decimal which is an extra fine so going from these three onto this which is a medium fine it just felt in a way unfamiliar it's like I had to learn how to hold it in a certain angle, which was really kind of, I don't know. I felt like I shouldn't have had to do that. Like, you know what I mean? So I'm not sure if something is wrong with this nib or it's just me. Um, but I'm just going to keep writing with it and see how it is. And hopefully I adjust, if that makes sense. But if you guys have any tips for me to do, let me know. I did look into maybe getting a, I think it's called a micro mesh, where you can kind of smooth out the nib yourself, but I'm so scared to do that, you know what I mean? But let me know, should I try? I don't know. Um, it's just like, like I said, like one side of the nib feels flatter than the other side. It's actually the side that feels flatter more than the side, so it just kind of feels weird when I have to like... I don't know, hold it in a certain way. You know what I mean? So anyways, all right. I'm going to go on the side and we're going to do some real-time testing here. Today is actually February 2nd, 2024. And this is Sailor... So I definitely have to hold this pen in an angle to write with it. I don't know. It's just really weird. Um, sometimes I'm more upright in a way, but with this one, I kind of have to hold it in an angle, kind of like this instead of like this, which I sometimes end up going like this and it's like, wow, that's really scratchy for me. So yeah, I think it's just me needing to adjust um, because I'm just so used to writing with these three lately. Um, so I don't think anything is wrong with this nib. But again, if you guys have any recommendations or something, just let me know in the comments. I'm all ears. I'm not an expert or anything. So I, you know, I learn as I go, I guess. Okay, so here is a writing sample with it. It's not too terrible, to be honest. I do like that it is a medium fine, which like shows the shading that's in this ink. So it's really, really pretty. I'm pretty happy with it, to be honest. And yeah, I've used it in my journal right here. So you can see this is what it looks like on midori paper 
It's very nice. I don't know if I like this um, this ink on this cream paper though, um, but I definitely do like it here and on the white paper. It looks really good and I feel like it's more legible. But yeah, so that's just my thoughts on the pen itself and also on the ink. I really love this ink. I think it's very, very pretty. I don't know what else to say, um, but that's just kind of what I have experienced with this pen so far. Um, the nib caught me kind of off guard with how it was. Like I said, it might just be me, but you guys let me know. I just, I don't know. I feel like it should be maybe smoother for what it is because it is a medium fine you know what i mean but i have experienced things like this with my other sailor though like not all my sailor medium fines are the same which is weird because they're all medium fines right but not all of them write the same some of my medium fines is way better writer than my others some of my fines is way better than others you know what i mean like there is really not a consistency with each one. I don't know. Not like it's so terrible that I hate them. It's just like I notice it, if that makes sense. So anyways, that is that. I really do love this pen though. My gosh. And yeah, I got very emotional when unboxing it because it is just so pretty. And as I mentioned, I have been wanting this pen for so 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 long it's just i didn't want to spend the money but thankfully one of you guys found it on ebay for such a good price and forwarded me the link and i was able to purchase it and i'm just so excited so i feel very thankful for that person <laughs> and actually for you guys um you know you guys always recommend the best stuff and i feel like you you guys know me you know my style you know what i like and as i mentioned i'm really trying my best to not per not downsize my collection but really like have a collection where if you look at it You'll be like, yeah, that, this is Charmaine. You know what I mean? That's really what I want. So I actually am going to look at my collection again in this next month, um, February. I'm going to be, you know, well, ho hopefully by the end of February, I will do another blog sale with more pens because... As much as I love the pens that I, you know, that I was like, oh, I'm going to keep this. Like the pens I didn't sell in my last blog sale. There's still some pens in there that I'm iffy about. And that I, it's just like I don't see myself using that in the future, if that makes sense. So yeah, there's going to be another blog sale. We will see. Um, it's just I feel like I'm really headed in a good direction since doing the blog sale and really kind of like limiting my purchases in a way if that makes sense oh my gosh am i really gonna get rid of my babies all right so i think that about wraps up this video i hope you enjoyed seeing me unbox this pen and hearing my thoughts about it and I guess seeing how it writes, um, I am really happy with it. Um, again, I guess I feel like I just need to, it's like relearning how to hold a pen because I haven't used a medium fine like this in so long. I, I did use my, my Mizutama, that's a medium fine, but I feel like, yeah, it's a different shape if that makes sense. Like that's the 1911 shape versus, um, a pro gear you know what i mean like it's just i don't know i just didn't know how to it's like i don't know how to hold it so it's like relearning it all over get all over again which is fine it's fine um but i have been trying to use it just so i can um you know get better i i will be uh journaling with it some more oh maybe i can show you this this is just my feelings journal just kind of updating you i guess 
This is my Hogwarts little like note notes for when I play. That's why there's this area I haven't played in a while. But this is just a journal where I want to write random stuff. This is this spread is about this pen and this was the note from um the seller super sweet so anyways that is it um for this video i hope you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts i'm so excited um i do have more pen videos lined up for you guys i hope you're enjoying all of this and yeah it's just like it's just like you're with me on this journey on making my collection be more me and I am so excited that you're here. So I hope you are too. And okay, that's it. Thank you all so much for being here. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I will put the eBay seller that I purchased this beautiful pen from down below in the description box of this video also i've gotten a lot of questions on where this pouch is from this is actually wonderlust by tsl so they have an a website i'll link that below and they do like different collections every year i feel like with different colors so this was from a few years ago um i don't think this is available anymore but this is what it looks like if you actually close it hold on a second so it goes like this i really wish the strap wasn't black but what can you do so that's what it looks like when you have it closed um but i usually leave it open like this because i like seeing all my pretty pens and yeah there's a pocket here and also a pocket there where did i get this from i don't remember where i got this from is it nico neko i don't know but this is just a little paper clip i'm not i don't remember but yeah it just says journaling and i love that so yeah that's where this pen i think it's called a pen tool pouch i'm not sure but I'll link it below um, or I'll link the website below because I don't think this is available anymore. But yeah, that is it. Thank you so much again for being here. Let me know if you have any other questions. And yeah, okay. Bye loves. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye.